It's six o'clock. Um, I think we got everybody here that to start with. Um, okay. So I'd like to open up the meeting. And um, are there any adjustments at all to the select board agenda? I don't have anything. Okay. I don't have anything. I have I have just one thing. Um, uh, actually, no, it's there. Um, so no, I was gonna. No, we're good. I, I don't have anything either. <laughs> okay, um, moving on. Is there any public comment? Here's your shot, Diana. <laughs> okay, hearing none. Um, do I hear a motion to approve the bills to the town? So move. So move. I'll second it then. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. Done. And um, I guess at this point, we can only approve the minutes to the um, November 23rd, 2020 select board meeting. I haven't written up the minutes for the special select board meeting. I just realized I forgot to do that. Okay. Uh, so I'll, um, do I hear a motion to approve the minutes for the November 23rd, 2020 select board meeting? So moved. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And we'll. I'll send out those minutes. It's just a short sentence yep. paragraph. I'll send them out and we'll approve them officially at our next select board meeting. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're ready for the town clerk's report. I didn't hear what you said, Mike. Oh, oh Diane, you gotta turn your mic on. Oh. So uh, we're ready for the town clerk's report. Did you hear that, Brian? Yep, got you done. Okay, good. All right. Oh, Diana. Diana, you have to turn your mic on. Diana, you have to turn your mic on. We can't hear you. Okay. Oh, there, we go. there yes. you go. Good. I have two computers and two mice, so. Very tricky. One's enough as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I got two here too. Actually, just, just a word of warning. Um, when we had our special select board meeting, my computer kind of went in and out and um, that might happen tonight, so. Okay. Okay, well, you're always willing, welcome to come down here. You know, we get the hot spot now. Yeah, well, <laughs> if, this, if this continues, um, we'll see how it does tonight, but if it does, seem to be a problem all the time, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so I've, as far as uh, regular town clerk business, I've uh, finally caught up on recording, but you know, another day or so, I should be able to finish, finish up with that and go full time on working on the town report. And uh, after you guys uh, make your motion tonight to adopt the Australian ballot voting, I'll have a bunch of information to start sending out to people so they uh, get uh, fair warning. There's a, a webinar on Thursday afternoon. Michael, you sent me that, that link also. Did you sign up for that or? I, I'm going to, I haven't yet. I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, I, think yeah, I'll, I would like to take that in, so. I'm gonna see if Jane wants to uh, jump in on that one too. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so that should be interesting and um, I suggest, I asked the Secretary of State's office if they'd be willing to uh, do a, a little webinar on the ballot builder, which is a function of the inter, uh, electoral management system. Uh, and I've never used it. And a lot of towns are gonna have to use it this year. So he said he's gonna address that on Thursday as well. So mm -hmm. I just hope that the ballot we end up with is gonna well enough to fit in the envelopes that we have. <laughs> we'll see. There, there are a couple of things um, that have come up. One is the discovery that the offices of grand juror and wait a minute. Are we on the next? We, we can be if you're all done with the town clerk report. I don't have much else. Except that the new girl, she's working out okay. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, the offices of grand juror and town law agent, from what I've been hearing on the 
town clerk's email have been eliminated. Uh -huh. So um, I, the town might still have the authority to appoint someone, but uh, that could save a couple of lines on the ballot. Mm -hmm. I asked Retta if she had time to look into it to see whether that's really true or not, or if she's really attached to those positions. But, uh, mm -hmm. So we'll have- um, Gone the way of the fence viewer and the wayer of coal. Yeah. Right, that's the other one. I knew there was another one that went. So, uh, oh, that's from last meeting. So we have, I have had a couple of requests from uh, for allocations to nonprofits that came in without a petition. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first one I said, you need a petition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, other town clerks have said that if you open up the door to anybody to apply with no petition, then that could open up quite a few doors. Mm -hmm. So the first run, first one I First request I got was uh, some kind of family service agency. I didn't even say on their letterhead where they were from or what they served. And I just emailed back and said, uh, you need a petition. And then another one came in today from Salvation Farms. Hmm. And they said, I have included a letter to the select board requesting a waiver of voter signatures due to the health and safety of community members. Uh, it's, uh, it's dear chair, great members of the select board. In light of recent COVID-19 distancing and gathering guidelines, blah, 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 blah. Our Salvation Farms mission is to build increased resilience in Vermont food system through agricultural surplus management. Um, in addition to submitting a letter of request, relevant tax documents, half page reports to be published in the town report. Um, we're, uh, of course, we're requesting appropriations. Oh, here's what's it. The towns of Craftsbury, Wolka, and Stowe are other examples of towns we serve and are requesting appropriations from that are allowing the waiver of signatures in this request for town funding. So um, if you uh, wave this one, I'll have to get back to the other organization and tell them they don't need a signature waiver. It, it, yeah, it seems if, um, you know, like people who are after um, or considering being um, uh, running for an elected position, if they don't have to get a petition of signatures that it's, it seems like across the board that it, it, the same um, okay. re reasoning should apply. I don't think them. I don't think the two are comparable at all. Oh, okay, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> well, the reason for the the waiver um, or the not having to get signatures is because of the potential of uh, spreading COVID nineteen. Um, well, also uh, in the in the uh, as far as candidates for election. Um, this whole switch over to uh, Australian ballot has come around kind of suddenly. Right. So these people are asking for $200 and the other one that uh, I forget the name of, I think they were also asking for about $200. Right. We have um, others that are sometimes asked for more, and I always tell them they can't have more unless they do a petition. So. Uh huh. Well, I know Salvation Farms from my work at the Hardwick Area Food Pantry. I don't, uh, and I would, I don't know if they serve the Woodbury Food Pantry either. Um, but um, I don't know. I mean, you know, the Hardwick Pantry does serve people from Woodbury. If it does. Can. Yeah, they were actually four people from Woodbury today. Mm -hmm. yep. So um, yeah, so what are, Brian and Paul, what are you, I know that um, we have a policy now, don't we, about these exactly. new appropriations there where they do. I think it says that they're supposed to get the petitions. Yeah. However, okay. I haven't really thought about the COVID year. What is the, uh, 
Is the guidance from the uh, state asking us not to do that? There really hasn't been any guidance from the state. Um, I've there have been emails from other towns and and Barry City especially was one who said there was no way they were going to not, you know, they were going to open it up to anybody who wanted to. Ask. Right. That is that is the danger. I wonder if a VLCT would have some thoughts on this question. Yeah. It's you know the problem with Woodbury is such a low amount of signatures that you need anyway. It's not a right. huge burden. Well, yeah. yeah, especially without a store and with the office, you know, it is it is more difficult this year. But they could have started earlier, mm -hmm. could have done it by now. Because we've taken in folks. If you've been on the ballot before, you just get put back on. Is that how it works? That's right. Yeah. Yes. And the the uh, the policy about uh, the allocations is the select board's policy. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to wait. Sure. Right. So um, how long do these places have to come up with a list? According it's five per policy. I think it's December 15th. But that's oh, oh. <laughs> wow. yeah, that's that's yeah, that's kind of right to the wire, it's isn't it? Bad they didn't start earlier. Right. Um, I've told well, the, other, the other organization that I had never heard of before. Um, I said, you know, if you have a person, if you have a board member in town or, you know, a, someone who takes your services, who can gather some names, you could do it that way, but that didn't happen. Yeah. Um, oops. I mean, I guess my inclination is to get the signatures, but I'm not so married to the 15th is getting them in there to me as long as they get them in right or we have to go to print on the town report or the or the or, or the uh, ballots um the other organization i told them that because um it was last minute they i would give them until the end of the month but they decided not to do it anyways i never okay. find out where they're from well um you know as a as a, a, a member of the Hardwick Area Food Pantry, as a staff member, I should say, um, I could put out a, a petition um, for Woodbury folks who go there to sign if they so choose. Um, I'd be willing to do that for them just because I know, you know, every, every week they bring quite a bit of local uh, produce to the Hardwick Area Food Pantry. Um, and, um... I don't know when the um, Woodbury food shelf is open, but. Yeah, it used to be open on Saturdays once a month, I think, right. but I, I don't really know for sure. But what Saturday, yeah. I mean, I can tell you. I, I could contact uh, Carol Ray and see if she would be willing to do the same thing. Right. And what... So they're gonna be open this coming Saturday. Okay. I I'm, I could I I will contact Carol Ray and see if they even get uh, produce from Salvation Farms, okay. um, and if she would be willing. If they do, if she would be willing to have um, a sign up sheet there, mm -hmm. and I'll do the same my... at the Hardwick Area Food Pantry. Yeah, it would have to be. Well, we'd just have to explain to her or to whoever is the volunteer that day that it's for Woodbury people only. Yes, and people only. And is it 5% of the yeah. total voting? Yeah, it's up to a, almost, it's like between 35 and 40. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Okay. Just making a note to myself. Okay. And the other, the other entity, I saw the email. I've never heard of them. I don't know where, if they serve Woodbury or not, but. I guess they, if they could do the same, then. Um... So they already declined when I told them that they. Okay, all right. Good. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, good. Because I know, um, I think I, I, you know, I can't remember the policy exactly, but there was a limit to the amount that the town would give out in appropriations too. Yeah, and I'm not sure. Have they checked the statutory legality of all that? Because I mean, a petition's a petition. You know right. what I'm saying? We can't, we can't have a policy that would violate the statute. Right. I have no idea whether it was yeah. ever checked or not. 
I'm pretty sure if you look at what the statute says, it's, there's probably no limit or time limit. So as long, it, to me, we would have to follow the statute, whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah. The petition can get on the ballot. Correct. Yeah. If they get a legal petition and it could be for $8 million, they're going to have a ballot. You know, I mean, just yeah. it's, it's not that that's happening, but they can't. Okay. You know. Right. Because we because we couldn't be in a position of of rejecting a legally signed and submitted petition because it violated our policy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, anything else on on that topic, Diana? Uh, not on the topic of uh, appropriations or whatever. I did have another thing. I did send you all uh, an email to anybody who gets the email to info at woodburyvt.org through the right. website. I thought I had straightened that out with Ben. Yeah, because um, I'm still getting them. I wasn't sure how to respond. I don't need to see those. Yeah. Well, it was, you know, it was like multiple people were responding to the right. email. Because I figured out I'm, I don't respond anyway, so I was going to send doubles. Like, nope. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to get get those emails. And yeah, so. I do. I don't get them with quite the frequency that I used to, but the, occasionally I still do, well, and I just I just ignore if, them. If it goes to info at Woodbury VT, it also goes to select board. Right, that's the ones I'm getting. Select You're getting those too. People want to email you; they can still email you at select board. Okay, so we should at least look at them and if it looks like it's a select board thing, then would you like us to address them? And, you know, sometimes it's obvious that somebody's <clears throat> wanting to look up land records and stuff, then I know that's for you. Well, I'm just, I'm just wondering whether I could just have the info just come to the clerk. Okay, and then you would forward it if it's I think a select That makes board. the most sense. That would that stop the good. duplicate responses. Mm -hmm. That would be good. And you can be the controller of, of where the question goes. I mean, all of our other emails are right on the website too. So yeah. Okay. But people, I think, it, think of info is more general. Yeah. It doesn't need to be. Okay. okay. Back to the Australian ballot. Right. Okay. Did, uh, Anybody print out my email of 1119? Uh, I did, and but I got to find it. That was that was. <laughs> yeah, I did too. <laughs> it has a suggestion for um, someone to make a motion to open up the discussion. Oh, okay. Um, uh, what was the date on it, Diana? Huh? What was the date on it? 1119. Yeah, let me find it too. Yeah, I don't see it here on mine. Okay. I had it printed out and I saw it as I was shuffling paper. Um, I had to go print mine out. Let me. Diana. You want me to just read it to you? Yeah, that'd be easier. Yeah. <laughs> Save us having to look for I know it. After me. <laughs> so. I hope that Woodbury elect its town officers by Australian ballot for 2021. For two I found that. Uh -huh. Good. Good for okay. you, Paul. <laughs> the last paragraph. So, um, seeing as how you found it, Paul, would you like to make that motion? All right, so I'll make the motion. I said, pursuant to, uh, I move that uh, Woodbury elect its town officers by Australian ballot pursuant to 17 BSA, paragraph 2680B, and adopt all budget articles by Australian ballot pursuant to 17 BSA, 2680C, and to vote on any other public questions by Australian ballot pursuant to 17 BSA, paragraph Two six eight zero D. There. And I will second that motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 
Oh, we got it. We got it. We got to have conversation. Right. Oh, some discussion. Right. I forget that. Discussion. part. Yeah. Any, any discussion <laughs> on the motion? It seems it'll be uh, an adventure. Yes. I think so. <clears throat> right. It will be interesting yeah. coming up with a balance. Now, at the last meeting, I think I asked you to so that we don't have to have a separate line item for every appropriation. If I could put those all in one, that could be consolidate. Smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I and I I know verbally we. So why don't we do this article or this vote, and then we would have another vote to consolidate, or maybe do it when we're looking at the physical ballot that we have to approve. I'm assuming we're going to have to do that. That may be the time to do that. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Okay. That way we can warn that that's what we're going to do. And someone wants to come to the meeting and say they don't like it or they like it, we have opportunity to let them do that. Because mm -hmm. I assume we're going to have to have a meeting at some point to approve that uh, warning. Right. Warning. Yeah. Yeah, we will. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I think this is just unavoidable, is what I'd written on the email is that we can't use the school. Diana and I figured out that the town hall is only good for 10 people based on the state rules unless we're all going to stand outside six feet apart in the cold. I just don't see how we're going to do it. Yeah. That's for the, that's for the free town meeting, the informational yeah. meeting that comes before the Australian ballot. Yeah. I mean, even for, even for the regular town meeting, just no, there's no options for us. Other well, we, than what we're doing. We were still going to have to do the regular town meeting in the hall. It's just going to be all people coming in and voting. But, right. I'm talking about a group town meeting. I was just, right. We really don't have any choices. No, we don't. Yeah. Right. Any more discussion at all? So, um, <clears throat> that in that case, I'll call the vote. Um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. All right. It's oh, it's decided. Have, uh, the people who want to who do want to. Uh, run for office are um, going to have to file a small, I, I've sort of made up a cover letter for them. And uh, somewhere here I had a list of who was up for election. Where, uh, what I get rid of. I'm glad to see I'm not the only one that has to find pieces of paper. <laughs> I got to go to which pile or folder pile is it in? Hey, or which yeah, computer? Yeah, you see, this is, a, this is wrong. So I was, that was my question. There must be a system we have to put out for people to get on the ballot if they're interested in an elected position. Exactly. Yeah, we got to figure out our ways of, um, you know, communicating this to, to people. I we think have that's to what let... Diana was working on here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, once I've got your approval, I'll start sending out email blasts. Um, you know, again, it's unfortunate to be shutting out anybody who doesn't have a home computer, but that's where we're at. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So um, for the elections, there's going to be a select board seat up for three years. Town clerk one year on a three year term. Lister three years. Bob said he's going to Bob Martin said he's going to run. I think we're going to have two auditor positions open. Delinquent tax collector, Ron says he's going to run for that again. Cemetery commissioner, unfortunately, Richard Patton doesn't want to run again. Mm -hmm. so that's a shame. Mm -hmm. Two cemetery positions open. One, um, Nanette Tavakelian died. Oh, yeah. 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 And, uh, Library trustees, they're working on trying to get their people. List in, yeah, they should be able to get us a list. Right. Maybe the cemetery commission could come up with, a, um, you know, the news, you know, who the new sexton would be. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm working with the school board. I can't, we can't really figure out exactly who's up. Um, Okay. You know, the whole school thing, I thought it was out of our hands, but this year we might have to have, I don't know, Kim might be up. I, but up. Is, wouldn't all three towns or four towns vote for that? 
Well, you know, point? there was all that discussion about going to Australian ballot for elections and doing it all in the group. And I don't re really remember how it all sugared out. I, I think at this point, um, you know, we would have to have the names of everyone on that school board, no matter what town they're in, they would all have to be on the ballot. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and every town, the four towns in, in the district would vote for the school board. Yeah, well, that's the way I understood it was going to happen at some point. I don't know what that point is. Yeah. Um, because it um, that wouldn't happen at town meeting anyways. It'd have to be a special school board. There would be a special vote. Yeah, like a yeah, like often we we vote for school things at town meeting on a separate. Right. Yeah, there ballot. might be a school budget uh, vote at town meeting. That would just be a separate ballot. Mm -hmm. I guess we should contact the supervisory union to get I've that. I've been in touch with them. You have been in touch with them? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. The chairman of the OSUED board. Okay. Is, we'll get that figured out. All right. So. So, yeah, the pre-town meeting, somebody will have to figure out how to do that. Um, right. I, you know, I had a thought for the pre-town meeting. Um, you know, obviously we can do a Zoom meeting, but that does leave people out um, to attend it. Um, another thing that we could do is, um, it would be a little bit of work, but if we could put together um, like a town information sheet that could go out with the town report, you know, tuck it into sure. it, different people who are running, who they might be, different things that are gonna be on the agenda and why. Um, and I'm willing to help put that together well, a copy of the ballot will be posted like it is for every other election. Right. But it, if, if every Not only on the bulletin board, but it can be posted online so people know who's going to be running. And you're right, there are going to be people who, who uh, don't get uh, electronic mail. It's going to just be some more fallout from 2020. Yeah. Right. But I think... You know, some people have talked about whether towns have the authority to mail out all the ballots, and I and they don't. Okay. Well, if we if we had a kind of an information, I'll call it a bulletin or a sheet or a couple of pieces of paper that we could tuck into the town report, everybody would get it, and they would have then they would at least have the knowledge of what they are would vote on if they choose to vote. And it all most of the agencies do the submit report. reports. Yeah. that are in the town report yeah it can be right in there with it i mean we could we could have it right in the town report it just it means it would be a couple more pages well i'm town. just saying a lot of the agencies that have budget requests have write-ups right. in the town report already yeah and phone and, numbers of who to call if you had more questions mm -hmm. but you know if we could have a list of those people that are seeking a, a elected office, office um and maybe a couple sentence paragraph of who they are so people have a sense of who they're voting for. I don't think we'll put that in the town report, but there will it can be, be something we do separate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, if we could we do mail it that separate, separate. Yeah, and just fold it up and put it in. Well, it would save having to mail it out separately. What, with the town report? If we, if we had like a printout that we could fold up and put into the town report, um, the then thing we could, is, is we, well, for one thing, is that the town report is mail going to be mailed by the printer like it was last Right, they don't morning. come from us, Mike. They get sealed and sent right from there. Ah, uh, okay. Right. We'd have to do our own thing. So we could mm -hmm. fork out the money and pay for a mailing. Hey, like I said, I don't think that's authorized. Just a, an information sheet? We couldn't do that? I'm not talking about the ballots. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about information so that people who aren't able to attend, you know, the Zoom information meeting could, would actually have some knowledge of what, um, what's happening for voting and stuff. I think that there's more information that can't be in the town report, can't fit in the town report, then yeah, I suppose that would be okay. okay. Yeah. But we can also format the town report to include as much instruction. If right. We read it, All right. how much we can do. Right. Okay, if you've got candidates, if we want to get their material in prior to mm -hmm. the day, I guess. Well, okay. the, the candidate, again, the candidates won't be in the town report. That's true. Right. 
right. be voting on a selectman and, and then anybody who wants to call and get an absentee ballot or wants to look at the ballot beforehand, they can do that. Will they, will they have mail out ballots or do you have to come and vote in person with this There's thing we're doing? Opportunity for absentee ballots. So you, it just like an absentee for right. any other, okay. We'll, and we'll send it out. Got it, yep. I don't remember. Too bad then. In person. Brian? Yeah, that won't be too bad if we can do it that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, and I think, you know, if we could send people a list, I mean, I guess they would find out who's on the ballot when they see the ballot. Um, yep. Well, the ballot will be in the town report, won't it? No, not with the yeah. names. No, okay. Just the agenda, the, the items. Gotcha. I understand. I understand. Okay. Yeah, right. All right. And I suppose that people, like I'm thinking of, you know, probably in the warning for the town meeting, there would be the um, amount of money that the town would vote on for repairing the school roof, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, instead of the way I realized this today, in the last few years, we've been saying what amount shall be approved for the highway budget. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to put a number in there. Yes. Yeah. You're gonna have to put a number in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, all sounds good to me. I well, just yeah. want to make sure that we get as much information that we can about, you know, what's the voting and who to vote for, or not who to vote for, but who's up who's for available election. to be voted. Yeah. Yeah. Just you know, and and with our different formats, the website, the, if we do a Zoom informational meeting, um, we, you know, we could post stuff up around town. Um, you know, we're still gonna miss people that way. And if somehow it could be connected with the town report or in a separate mailing. Yeah, um, to, and again, to, we, we're, we're used to our system. A lot of other towns you have, there are, are already having Australian ballots every year. And it's incumbent are, yeah. on the person to get a petition, get the get on the ballot, and then it's really incumbent mm -hmm. on them to to run for election, and just like any other person would yeah. do. So we're not used to that system, but most other towns, that's the way it is. You'd have to go out and campaign essentially if you want to be a select board position or some other position. Yeah. yeah. So we can help out some. But on the other hand, they they also have a need to get their information out. I would think too. Right. Mm -hmm. And if they're and if somebody decides, you know, the week before town meeting that they'd like to be on the cemetery commission, they can always mount a write-in campaign and you don't need to have a whole lot of signature, a whole lot of votes. Or show up at the next select board meeting and they'll get appointed for all those positions. Right. That'd be the easy way. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> if not, we'll be calling. <laughs> so I guess we can vote on the question. I'm satisfied. Okay. Any any other discussion? No. Nope. All right. So all those in favor of the motion um, as spoken um, and seconded, say aye. Aye. Um, uh oh. Did did you guys did I freeze up? You froze. Brian and I both <laughs> voted aye. Okay. Okay. Good. I voted aye too. So. Okay. Looks like I'm back on here. I'm sure there'll be some adventures in this, but we'll do the best we can with it. It's what yeah. we have to work with, so we'll have to make it work. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Anything else from uh, about the town meeting or? Um... <coughs> When's your next meeting? The, the 28. 28. 27? Yeah. 28. 28. We'll okay. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll probably have a, a we'll have a budget a meeting before special that. budget meeting or two also. Or, mm -hmm. uh, so just because we love it so much. Right. <laughs> so can we should we move on, Diana? Are, are you all set for now? Bye. Okay. Thank you, Diana. Okay. Thank you. So um, next on the agenda is the town <laughs> treasurer's report. Can you hear me? Yes. So, um, 
there was a bunch of goodies as far as AP going out in the last two weeks, all the appropriation. Um, I will be, that wasn't in there. Um, and I spoke with um, Skip Lindsay about the 10,000 that was, that was appropriated for um, the planning commission mm -hmm. for the new plan. So I will be setting up account number 16 um, and doing a journal entry and moving that 10,000 cents. Um, it's not going to be all spent in this fiscal year. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the only thing I haven't done as far as paying for appropriations. Mm -hmm. um, so um, as far as income delinquencies in the last three weeks, um, we have taken in $9,762.43. And for electronic transfers from the state, we have received the the building pilot payment of seven thousand five hundred twenty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. We have also received the pilot land for six thousand three hundred forty three dollars and twenty cents. Um, those are those are just so that uh, Paul and Brian um, know. Those are for the fish and wildlife. Buck Lake Camp. Buck Lake Camp, okay, yep. yep. Yes, yep. Sorry, Brandy. No, that's all right. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, our ticket fines we took in for $95.58. That was a, um, also an electronic transfer. Um, let's see here. Today, I moved 26000 from the money market over into the general fund to cover expenses. Um, let's see. So the grant that I took on a whim to apply for, for COVID expenses for payroll, mm -hmm. um, they let me adjust it. And so I was able to add, um, Greg's time, uh -huh. um, while he was, um, and, and, um, I emailed them, discussed it, and I was able to put that expense in. So we are looking at um, a little over $7,000 getting back. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll put that into, I'm gonna make account numbers um, from for uh, revenue. Some goes to the highway, some goes to the general fund and some goes to the library as far as payroll. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll disperse that as soon as we get the electronic transfer. Okay, um, so would that cover all of the um, kind of COVID time that people lost, like the assistant um, town clerk and road crew and um, library and stuff like that? Yes, this, okay. the, the majority, the majority of this expense is from back in March. Yeah, um, that's what I was wondering, yeah. yeah. Yep, so I can't, okay. I can't credit back to payroll so it'll right. just go into there as um, I'll add a, a COVID income line for mm -hmm. each of the funds. Mm -hmm. And, um, but, um, so yeah, that's a good thing. It is a good um, thing, yeah, that's great. And is, is this fund, will it, is it still kind of in existence? So if there are incidents going forward, you know, before we're finally, this is all finally behind us that we might also be able to, to submit, um, request for reimbursement? This grant is strictly from March through December okay. of this okay. year. For this year. Um, correct. I haven't seen any others going forward. They were in a rat race to hurry up and get the numbers in by the 11th right. um, for this grant. I think this so, is money they got to spend by the end of this year. Moving yeah. forward, there'll right. have to be some kind of other allotment by the, by the Congress the or the state. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yes, yeah, I will, mm -hmm. if there is any other or if anything else pops up in emails once this run is done, um, yeah, I'll be on it in case, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. So, mm -hmm. um, but it's not, um, yeah, we're, we'll be getting at least that much back. Okay. Um, other things is, um, getting onto um, 
is adding some more lines into the budget um, and making a budget for the school, but um, we'll be getting to that eventually. So mm -hmm. any questions for me? I don't have anything. No. I don't have one. No. No. All right, so if there's no questions, then I can just hold off until the budget part and um, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm look, I think the agenda I have printed out for myself, I think I, it's a earlier draft. Did I put on the agenda, the Brookfield service contract? Yes, yes okay. you did. So let me, um, I'm going to attempt to screen share and bring that contract up for us to look at. Um, I've got a copy in front of me. Okay. Well, hang on. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do this. Haha. -ha. Look at that. Okay. So um, this this is the contract for the. Um, it's an annual contract for uh, the service um, of the uh, emergency generator at the school. And we have two choices. Um, and this is kind of. Under program one and program two, it's kind of a listing of what is covered under, under those. Um, and then on the second page um, is what the two, the two cost. We've, we have um, in the past gone with the, the um, annual, complete annual service, the cheaper of the two. Um, which I'm I'm fine with doing. I, I, I but I, you know, Brian and Paul, I'd like to you know kind of have your thoughts on which route we should go with this. I'm looking this over. And Brandy too, actually. Uh yeah, I'm still okay with going with the one program yeah. one. Right in. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, okay. Right for us. And you know, the last year or the year before, there were different repairs that they had to do that right. were beyond the annual, and, and so yep. that was an additional expense. But yep, right. All right. Um, so, um, any other questions, Brandy? Any comments that you want to make about the contract? Nope. I think it's in good running order, and you know, those parts did get fixed, mm -hmm. um, and obviously not anticipating any other. Um, I would just go with a minimum. Yeah, it'll be good till it breaks again, like everything. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, do I hear a motion to approve the um, program number one with the Brookfield contract for 2021? I'll make that motion. Okay. I will second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Good. So, the other thing was. Um, making sure that you guys ended up getting the spreadsheet for the a third time full. Yes, I have I that. that. Yeah. yeah, we did get that. And um, I, I wrote down the, uh, the total amount um, and I do have the, that spreadsheet on, on this uh, computer. So I could bring it up if, if you'd like me to. So the, so the, the, um, Third, third so all of it, I included, I included the the um the premium assistance. So whether they get insurance or the premium assistance, you would just take away one or the other. Um, okay. But to give it a rough idea, and I kind of tried going down the midline of um, um, a two person um, as far as an expense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll look at that and think about it, and and um, you know maybe at one of our budget yeah. meetings we can discuss it a little bit more. Yeah, that sounds yep. good. I think let's take a look at the overall when we get to highway when we do that portion we'll see where we're at and right. We Got to look at what we're spending on the extras now and would we need any extras and mm -hmm. right. Yep. yep. So we'll we'll think about that a bit before we discuss it at a, at a budget meeting. Yep. Okay. Um, so I will just be in the background until the budget starts. Okay, well, that's next on the agenda. So if we're pretty much finished with the um, <coughs> treasury report, we can move on to that. And I should be able to bring that no, up. No, we got the next. highway report next. Uh, okay. And we can set Chuck free. Okay. So we can go back out and sit on the beach there. Right, yeah. <coughs> okay, let's do that. 
That sounds good. Oh yeah, I see. Yep. Your mic's off, Chuck. <laughs> How about now? There you go. I'm here yet? Okay. Um, I tried calling Greg today. I kind of fell behind the eight ball, and uh, sorry, I uh, didn't get a hold of him. But okay. um, so I'm assuming that I don't have much for a road report. I'm assuming that everything's going pretty well. And doesn't seem like you're getting much snow up there. Not yet. Maybe uh, later this week. And, and just to follow up, Chuck and I did talk about our meeting Friday, so he and I okay. had that conversation. Great. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sounds good to me. I, that, all I wanted to do is just have him prodded along a little. Okay. Um, and Chuck, I will send you um, the uh, the work sheet for the uh, town budget, so that okay. you and you and Greg um, can kind of get together somehow um, and go over that. Um, you, is, do you have any thoughts on how you want to try to do that? Um, I could, you know, we could try to help up here on our end to make that work. Um, I don't really. Uh, probably, I mean, I, he, I'm sure Greg must have a computer at home. We, well, he must be able to. Does that laptop over there to the town guard gentleman want? I don't think it does. Well, he's done Zoom before from his house because he's from been to our meeting back in the spring. Yeah, okay. I'm sure we can get that resolved. I'm not a computer expert, right. but. and and if you know he, one either one of you would have to host the meeting. If that seems somewhat daunting, um, I could do that with the town's Zoom account. Um, that might be the best is to have if you had the time to facilitate their meeting. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine to me. Sounds good. Okay, and then you know if I do that. Um, I could share the screen. We could look at that, but I, I, um, I would probably send you a, a digital copy of that thing just so you have it to look at beforehand. Yeah, I wish and, you would. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I think Greg um, has a paper copy at this point, but um, I'll check in with Brandy about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, think maybe get in touch with Greg. Figure out a time. That would work for the two of you and then let me know and I'll set up the meeting for myself. Um, Friday, Tuesdays and Fridays are open days for me. Okay. Um, and if um, you know, the weekend would work too, if that if that's the only time that would work for, for you and Greg. Um, it really doesn't matter much to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty much leave it up to Greg. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll see what Greg, you know, comes up with. Um, all right. Okay. So, um, and maybe I'll, I'll get in touch with Greg and, and let him know that we're going to do that. And then, you know, he could either call me or, or um, you could email me or whatever, but. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to talk to Greg tomorrow. So. Okay. All right. I'll mention it to him. Okay. Great. Um, any, any, how, how's life down there in the, in the sunny Florida Sunbelt? So far, very good. Uh, That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, 80 degrees yesterday and sunny, and yeah. it's going to cool down a little bit now. But no, it's way down not. into the 70s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they're calling uh, Friday's going to be a cold day at 71. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, yeah, any day. <laughs> was in the was it yesterday? Was in the 50s. Close. Yeah, we hit. We got up into the round fifty this weekend. Yeah, that ain't a bad day. Now the no. snow all melted again. Just gonna, it'll be back later this week, I think. No. Yeah. Tomorrow's below zero. <laughs> yeah, we're head. We're headed for a bit of a freeze now. How much mud you got? It was a little squishy, but it not bad. It was just a little bit on the surface. Yeah. They're not doing the roads any good, but it's what it is till spring now. I'm afraid yeah. so. Yeah. 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 But it should freeze up and get straightened out here pretty soon. Yep, yeah. it will. I hope so. Yeah. But, okay. All right, I'll touch okay. ba base with Greg tomorrow, and and uh, I'll try to do better before next meeting about a road report. All right. All right. Well, let's get away with it this time. 
Yeah. All right. Thanks. You're not. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Have a good night. You as well. Okay. So one other thing um, with the town uh, highway report is um, another yearly thing that we do. And I, I think I sent this to yep. uh, Paul and Brian. Um, yep, Mountain Tamers. Mountain Tamers. It's, it's um, we basically just give them approval to use sections of the road to connect to different uh, snowmobile trails and nothing has changed. It's the same yep. sections of road that it has been for quite a few years now. <clears throat> I had a short conversation with Stephen Gray um, about it. Um, it. You know, everything seems fine. So um, I guess, so what we do usually is, is each year about this time, um, just officially approve um, the, uh, the roads that they've requested permission um, to you, class three roads basically, um, to use to connect to their trails. So can I make that motion based on their letter? Do I got to they know all the roads? Uh, just based on the letter. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve their request okay. uh, for use of class three roads as spelled out in their letter. Okay. okay, and I will second that motion. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Say aye. 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 So what I could do also is um, take that letter and uh, post it on the website. Yeah, or include it with the minutes either way. Include it with the minutes, yeah. Okay, so a um, couple of updates. Um, I wanted to let um, folks know that the uh, Planning Commission, um, they had applied for a grant with the Department of Housing and Community Development for to help um, augment the, the monies that we received um, uh, from the town, um, voted on a last, our last town meeting to, for work on the town plan. And the, the grant application was pretty much focused on um, ways to uh, enhance any kind of public input to the town plan, which, um, you know, with our pandemic uh, restrictions um, uh, would be helpful to have. Um, so the, the town, um, the planning commission did receive the grant it was for $5,000 and it'll go towards um, uh, working on, on different ways of uh, enhancing public outreach um, and input into the, the town plan drafts. Um, and then I just wanted to make a quick uh, um, an update on the school lease negotiations. We're gonna be meeting an executive session later on this evening to talk about um, uh, some of the latest developments, but I just wanted to let people know that it's ongoing, it's moving kind of slow. There's definitely back and forth on um, the money amount. Um, and um, we'll talk more about it in the okay. second session. Norman has found some interesting um, state statute uh, concerning, um, which, which, which we'll get into later on. And I'll, I'll make it a little bit more public when I understand it a little bit better. Okay. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. I think we can move into working on the town budget and I, I should be able to screen share the uh, worksheet that, that we have. Um, so let me let me bring that up. Um, see. I'm gonna step out for just a moment. Okay, let's see. This is my glasses on, let's see if I can. Uh, I guess I gotta bring it up to see if that's what I want. Uh, no, that's the Brookfield one. So hang on a second. Um, okay, so. Um, oh, hang on again. Um, You're getting there, Mike. I'm getting there, yeah. <laughs> I want to do the screen, but I guess I got to get rid of this thing. Um, okay, let me just see if I can delete this. Uh, oh, whoops, that didn't work. Um, all right, so hang on. Um, 
There it is. Okay, I got it. Um, so wait till Paul gets back. So Brandy, I know you can't see this, but you have the sheet in front of you. Um, do you want to start at the beginning and just fill in what we have? Or we're looking at um, page one at the moment. Or do you want to yep. go to a do you want to go to a certain page and section? No, let's just start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Yep. Um, we skip the the current tax revenue, then um, that usually balances out once we have everything blocked in to see how much money we have to raise. So skipping okay. down to delinquency tax interest. Yeah. Um, I would keep it at forty five. Our lump sum has pretty much been collected, so now it's just. I would keep it at 4,500. Okay. Is Paul back yet? I am. Yeah, Paul's here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, delinquency penalty, keeping it at 4,000. Okay. Uh, basing off the half point right now, we should be good to get it mm -hmm. um, to the four. Uh, we have not received the current youth hold harmless income mm -hmm. yet. Um, so I'm going to wait off on that one. Okay, and that's it pretty. In shortly. It is. That's pretty. Is that pretty standard from year to year? Yeah, the amount of thirty-four thousand. Yeah, thirty-four, thirty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we could just keep it up thirty-four. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't have this year's actual as of right now. Okay. It'll be in that ballpark. Um, yeah, it'll be yeah. around there, I think. Um, the pilot building. I mean, between the pilot, I would just keep it at the 7,000 and keep the land at, at 65. They balance each other out mm -hmm. um, if one's higher or lower. So I would mm -hmm. still keep those 7,000 and 65. Um, as far as grants, um, I don't think I would put anything. I don't know if I would or not because I don't know how it's going to go next year. So I'll leave the, the green up. Um, it's and not I, a lot, even if we put it in, that we don't yeah. use it, but. Okay. And I have some other grants that we have been awarded. Um, I don't have that information tonight, but I will have um, at the next okay. budget meeting. But is that for the general or is that for the highway? Uh, yeah, I guess it would be for the highway. Yes, highway one probably. Them, yeah, one of them might okay. be for the general. Um, but yeah, I think they are for the highway. Right. Right? So okay. moving forward on to fees, Diana, are you there? She's on, but her mic. Yeah. Is she, yeah. I'm here. Okay. Do you want to? Yeah. So we're on the, the as far as the zoning permits on that section. Um, I'm. I would like to keep it at the 500. I mean, we have 400 so far. Yeah. Okay. Copies and fees, I would keep it at, well, we didn't budget anything. Yeah, it's been zero. It's been so little. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't even, i keep it at zero. Mm -hmm. um, land postings, keep it at 20. Okay. Uh, town hall rental, of course, it's, it's decreased quite a bit because right. of oh, good. Um, Robin, are you there? I didn't see Robin on. No, I didn't see her either. No. Yeah, she was having internet issues. Uh -huh. um, um, I wonder I if we say 300, if we went with 300, it's not going to make a big difference to the budget. Right. That's um, probably reasonable. Since 452, it, and that's probably reasonable. It's right in the middle of where we've been landing. Yeah. <clears throat> Plus the fact that we're not doing rentals right now. Right, we're right. shut down probably right. for the winter. But this this will be for fiscal year 22, so you know that'll be start yeah. in July 1st. So maybe by then things we'll be will back. be better. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. hopefully. Um, Diana for vault fees because it's been a slump. I mean we've we've done 295. What's your feel? Uh, let's see. I I would leave it about about 300 because if you want to, uh, mm -hmm. right 
Um, vital records, we have never budgeted anything. Okay. Uh, it's only five dollars, still keeping it at zero. Yeah. Um, marriage license, keep it at fifty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maps for recording, a uh, hundred. It seems to be doing all right. Mm -hmm. uh, vehicle registration, keeping it twenty. Mm -hmm. Dog fees. Our, our big lump sum is in April, so I would still keep it at a thousand. Okay. Uh, next page. Oh, the big one, land recordings. Um, at this point, I would, I'd put it at ten. What do you think, Diana? Uh, for the next fiscal year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand. since there is it, the increase in, um, okay. Traffic fines are really low. So yeah, the, we, the, the sheriff's department is, you know, really here really minimally. I don't know whether that's also because of right. the pandemic or what, but um, I, maybe we should drop that down because even yeah, the year, be the year before- a thousand. Yeah, I would put it at a thousand. Uh, certified copies, still at a, I'd keep it at 100. Okay. Yeah. Um, vital, vitals, 150. Okay. Copies at cost, uh, we're at $10. We're not having much of in and out. I think 50 would be enough. Well, no, again, remember, this is fiscal year 22. Next year. So it might, you know, if. It is. And 100 is not going to make a big difference. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Okay. We'll keep it at 100. Mm -hmm. um, 1,000 for land record copies. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Green Mountain Passport, 15. Okay. Keep it the same. Yep. Um, interest, um, basing it off. I would put 500. It needs to be dispersed to the other funds. Miscellaneous revenue, zero. So and then on to payroll. Brandy, just the, the interest income, you mentioned it needs to be dispersed to other funds. What, what does yep. that mean? That means that um, we, when I consolidated, we have one checking account. Uh -huh. That means yep. all the funds are in that, that the interest okay. needs to be dispersed to the other I, funds. Okay, um, I get it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So as far as payroll, I think I'm going to let you guys take that over. I, I'm at home, so I do have to apologize. I do not have my payroll folder as far as the chart. Okay, that's okay. Me. I mean, we can do this at another time. And if you wanted, you could email the chart to me. And I, again, I could share the screen, but so um, I know that we have the chart and, and Diana has mentioned that, um, you know, that the different, each what we tend to do traditionally in the last few years anyway, since we this chart has been created is that we, each year we bump the different employees and elected officials, um, primarily the town clerk and uh, the town treasurer and their assistants, we bump them up th to the next um, pay scale on the chart. And Diana mentioned that the, the bump ups tend to be um, not the same across the board each time. Um, and I know at one point, if, if I'm remembering right, she mentioned that maybe we should just do a straight across the board percentage increase for everybody that on the payroll. Um, so I'm wondering, um, and I think she suggested or mentioned 3%. I don't know what the cost of living um, amount is this year. Um, so well, we gotta be careful not to confuse steps with the, if we do an annual increase. Right. You would understand that this chart that uh, Guy Ruel came up with is from the state contract. Correct. Yeah. So a step represents about 3%. So for you guys, yeah. for Brian and, and uh, Michael, the state employees get a negotiated pay raise every year negotiated between the union and the legislature, 2% okay. or, or less. Plus, they get 
for every year or two years, I forget which. They yeah, get sometimes it's one, one, and the whole longer year round, you get a two-year step than a three-year step. So well, that's what that chart is based on. But we're not using it for that. We're using it for an annual raise. So right. So that's where we got it. We may want to work on that because I did see it exactly what Diana is saying. Because three percent every year, nobody's getting three percent every year. But okay. based on your we should negotiate or, or decide what we're going to do for annual raises. And if we're going to use a step system for time, some years people would get a step and of an annual raise. Some years you'd just get the annual raise. But I okay. don't think you intend to do that. I don't think you so, want to give people raises twice. So let's why don't we, you got to look why at don't that we, a little more carefully. Because I yeah, did appreciate what you said is it hasn't been updated. <laughs> no. It hasn't. It's been the. It's been at least five or six years. Right. So we got to take a harder look at that because the point's well taken. Okay. Let's do that. Let's let's pass over this for now and and take a look at and that. And as part of our our when we're figuring out salaries, we just need to know who's eligible for what coming forward. I guess that's what Brandy's going to work on, and when she has her papers okay. in front of her. Okay. Yeah, and I could send out that pay chart if you. I've got mine. You've got one, okay. You think that's about five years old? Uh, well, it was. How long has been since Guy Ruel's been on the select board? It's been at least five years. years. Oh, yeah. Years. Whose spot did I take? I've been here uh, two years. You took. Um, Skip Lindsay. Skip, oh, Skip, Skip Lindsay's. Skip yeah. Lindsay's. Yeah. yeah. And that was I've two, probably been four or five. Yeah. I think actually, I think Brian got back on. Brian took um, Guy's yes. place, um, and I can't remember which which year of, of his three year term that he, that we did this. But I could probably find that information out. That's okay. It, this we should polish it up and then just okay. use it. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll save that for another meeting. Put it on our budget meeting discussion. Yeah. Actually, let me let me write that down. Or we'll forget. Right. Pay scale. Okay. So um. So Brandy, let's let's um. Let's do we want to? We could look at the like the listers and the delinquent tax collector and all of that. I think, or do, or do you want to save that for another discussion? I want to skip down to the office expenses and go to supplies. Okay, then, let's, okay, we'll do that. That uh, way, yeah, the taxes okay. are going to be depending on the payroll and yeah, all that okay. stuff's going to have to be adjusted. Okay, so, so I've, do, I've, um, I've got the screen down to the office supplies and expenses. Yep, so keeping uh do 300 uh, 3000 on supplies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 200 on delinquency supplies yeah. keeping 100 for listers yeah. um planning commission supplies i want to keep it at 200 just in case mm -hmm. uh, posted keeping it at 2000 okay yep uh training and meetings um just keep it at 500 there's it's going to be very obviously we're not going to hit the Right. Going to meetings this right right now. Uh, mileage keeping it at fifteen hundred. Okay. Uh, copier lease. Um, halfway so keeping it at a thousand. Mm -hmm. Um, town report. Since the school's not, I'm going to keep it at five thousand. Mm -hmm. Diana, are you okay with that? I think so. Yeah, if that's what we spent last year. Mm -hmm. Looks like last year spent a little bit over, but pretty close. Yeah, it's within yeah. the window. Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, computer expense, keeping it at 2000 Hang on a second. Computer okay. equipment, yeah. Okay. If Mark Asani recommends that we schedule our replacements and I got replaced this year we should schedule one of the other replacements this year so that would be I mean that's
probably about a thousand dollars to replace a desktop with all the software and things like that. Okay. So did did your computer that got replaced was that in the fiscal year 2020? Diana? I'm I'm thinking. I think okay. so. It's only it's showing like last hundred twenty one at so far, so it must have been. Yeah. yeah. Before July first, probably. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, okay. if we need to upgrade that equipment, we should budget for if we're going to do one a year, whatever the thought is. Yeah, they keep it at two thousand. I think that's why we bumped it up to two thousand. That's okay. what it looks like. We went to a thousand, then we went to two thousand. I think we got room for a computer in this fiscal year too. Yeah. And I think we, if, right. if there's how many computers, Dan? Three. There's actually, there's, I think there's four. Okay, so we'll, four. we'll so we'll plan to do one in this fiscal year, and we'll budget for one in the next fiscal year then. Both Brandy's and and the assistant, I think these, including mine, were all uh, purchased in the same year when Skip came on board. Okay. And those are, you know, those are like four or five years old, but the, the assistant computer doesn't get a heck of a lot of use. Mm -hmm. So would it be okay to, to do one this year, one next year? Yeah. So Brandy okay. could probably get replaced this year. Uh, how what kind of shape or how old is the Lister's computer? Was that under a separate budget item? Well, that was only a couple years old. Okay. That's been replaced right. since yeah. It okay. seems like the number we have there will cover what we're wanting to do. Yeah, I think it will. Yeah. Two thousand, yeah. We have two thousand and okay, I think it'll work. So electricity at the town hall, I'd keep it at two fifty. Okay. Okay. Uh, town office, I would keep it at 1100. Mm -hmm. uh, telephone at 1200. Town hall heat, still keeping it at 15. And these are, yeah, uh, 2000 for the town office. Mm -hmm. School emergency fuel tank. So now that do you still want to keep this in the general fund or do you want to add this to the school budget? Uh, I think we'll keep it. Let's keep it in the general fund. Um, okay. Keep it at a thousand. Yeah. Now, is this, this isn't for the fuel. This is just for the, the, um, generator. The generator. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yep, keep it at a thousand. We, you know, the contract is for just under a thousand for the. So this put the Brookfield service contract. Yes, that's what this covers. So, but, well, no, this just covers the fuel. Fuel. Does it? That's what it okay. says. Emergency fuel. Okay. All right. Okay. Maybe we should. Um, maybe we should call it school emergency generator fuel instead of listing the tank. That's probably okay. better. Just rename it. I can, yeah, I can take that off. Yep. Okay. Have have um, who would fill that up, Randy? Would that go under our the our fuel general fuel contract that we have, or do we have to ha have whoever put the tank in do it? Um. So it was suburban, and they it's suburban's tank. So mm -hmm. suburban would have to fill it. Okay. They go and, up, you know, do they up. periodically go and top it up? I mean, when was the last time it was filled? No. We, no? So we it have to top it off. So that I don't know how often it gets used. So that may be a thing that that um it does get tested um, pretty there's like an automatic test yeah. thing. It runs every week, so we probably should call them to have it filled. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yep. And I wonder if we could get them set up to do like a an annual or a semi-annual fill up just so that it doesn't kind of get forgotten. That's probably a good idea. By surprise. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We don't we'll want to be down to our power. last hundred gallons when we have a major power outage. Well, we actually need exactly. it have it be empty. Yeah, and then they can't get there to fill it up. Huh. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll put that up for tomorrow. Okay. Um, so six thousand on the computer software support. Yep. Mm -hmm. It went a little over, but 
with this, a thing, it ends up washing. Yeah, um, Regional Planning Commission. <clears throat> Um, have you have you received anything on that, Diana? Yeah, I have actually, um, Brandy, and I um, I will I have it. I'll, I'll I will get that down to the town office. Um, it did go up a little bit. Um, I, okay. I'll I'll get that figure. I have it. Okay. Let me write that down. If I did get it, Brandy, I gave it to you for your file. In the yeah, okay. I, yeah. I, I just don't I know I got a notice. No, I, I think I, I have it and I'm sitting on it somewhere, so. Okay. Yep. So staff appreciation, I'm leaving that up to you guys. Okay, yeah, let's keep it the I'd same. I'd like to go back to the 600 that we did. Yeah, and I guess the select board, you know, we need to figure out how we're gonna appreciate the staff here before the year ends. So that's, maybe we can have that as a addition to one of our budget meetings, seeing how it's, getting close to that time of year. Yep. Okay. So advertising, still keeping it at 500. Mm -hmm. that covers, um, uh, does that cover the planning commission and the zoning board and everything? And all that stuff? Uh, no. Okay. What, what does that cover? I just X out two of the, the system. Um, so we are on, where are we? Oh, for advertising? Yeah. Legal notices mostly. Legal notices, okay. Right. Um, there was, yeah, no, it is all of, all of, um, Anything that is for advertising gets gets shoved into there. So okay. Um, Anything where we have to po post something like in the like Gazette that. or whatever. Correct. Yeah. Um, dues. So I know VLCTs is going up, um, but I don't know about the other ones. So that one I'm going to wait. Uh, tax mapping 200. Okay. Uh, green up expense, keeping it 350 and hope it happens. Um, county tax. I don't have the numbers here for that. Mm -hmm. um, legal expense. I'm really hoping we can get it back down underneath 500, 5,000. I would love to have that happen. It would, life would be so much more pleasant if we didn't have to spend a lot of money on legal expenses. <laughs> let's let's be optimistic and keep yeah. it at 5,000. Yeah. <laughs> um, consulting, let's do 1,000 again. Okay. Um, exactly. Animal boarding. If, yep. if, if you uh, say you hire an engineer on a road, come under the road right yeah that would be a town highway i don't know no. like what other consulting there is um, well there might be might be something not, i guess if it's not involving a under a grant um yeah i should pull up and what we did put underneath that i don't recall offhand Okay, well, yeah, let's look into that. Um, Humane Society still keeping it at 300. Mm -hmm. um, next page. Like that. Uh, Oops, the website. Hang on a second. Sorry. I went a little too high. Okay, I'm good. Screen's good. Animal boarding. I kept it at 300. Uh huh. Um, website. Keeping it at 500. Yeah. Did only charge. Keep it at five. Um, zoning board. 100. 100. Commission. 300 just, for zoning. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Conservation. 200. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. I don't. Um, Liability we can keep at six thousand. Okay. 
Um, keep it at thirty dollars. Tax abatement. What do you guys think? Yeah. Diana. Uh, um, you know, you never know. I know. Yeah. I mean, if you give an abatement and it's not in the budget, it doesn't matter. You have to pay it anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Right. right. <laughs> so I'm going to say a thousand again. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, miscellaneous. Kind of a wild card. Mm -hmm. Look, 500 in case we need to throw it somewhere. I haven't heard numbers back from Hardwick Rescue yet. Um, Sheriff Patrol. We're still doing 5,000. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much a standard figure. and. So town mowing, um, 300 for the just we, office. So that's just for the town office. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's see. So how that get up to seven thousand? Right. I think I remember um, you, you had an. I remember asking you that too earlier, Brandy. You back then. That, that had to do. Oh, sorry. I'll keep quiet. No, I'm just popping open my laptop. Except for the service isn't very good. Yeah. Um, I remember that you told me that it was for the work that was done uh, where the old store was. That that's how why that figure is so. Landscaping, I think. Yeah, the all... landscaping work. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. But we didn't spend seven thousand dollars. Got a, a grant? No, it was a grant, right? It was for it was, that was the friends of. Sorry, Diana. Sorry. There's there's money yeah. left for that grant, but I think it's going to be spent before. I'm going to try to make sure it's spent before July one. Some additional landscaping, flowers and stuff. Uh huh. So next year we'll should be about what it was before plus for the extra part. I do think that we should bump it up more than 700 since we will be adding the new park to the, right. the mowing maintenance. Okay. So I would do a thousand. Mm -hmm. um, repairs and maintenance for the town office. Your input, Diana? Uh, oh, I don't know. We're in pretty good shape. Um, we don't we don't know when the uh, lift is going to break down, but I think if we budgeted, say, a thousand would be plenty. I don't know how we spent seventeen hundred and twenty-two dollars. Yeah, right. I, I would bring it up to a thousand. It looks like we've spent over that the last two years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a thousand. Well, that's yep. what I'm we'll thinking. Do a thousand on that one. Um, the town hall for maintenance. Thoughts. Um, Bumping it up to five hundred, and then. Yeah, I mean, I in the spring we'll um, we'll be doing a little bit more discussion about the town hall and what we want to do with it, but um, that's that's we can't. I don't really have any thoughts about that for at the moment. So we, I, I think bumping it up to 500 would be. And then if we keep it in the back of our mind as far as um, building up our town building maintenance. Yeah. Um, fund. I, yeah. Think, um, okay. I think if you have something you know you wanna do, you should put it in the budget and use this building reserve fund for emergencies. But I would like to see you put in um, maybe four thousand dollars to cover a paint job for the town. Uh -huh. You would be nice to have a some kind of somebody take a look at it and give us an estimate for mm -hmm. the painting. Yeah. Or before we did that. Yeah, we should work on that, getting out an estimate oh. this year. But let's try to do that in the next few weeks. See if we could just somebody who who might know a little bit about painting a building 
um, who could take a look at it for us. I don't know if there's somebody locally that would be willing to look at it. You think Richard Patton could give us a price, Diana? Diana, did you hear hear Brian's question? No. No. Did you think Richard Patton could give us an estimate? Well, you know, he probably could. And I don't know whether Brandy would let us hire him. <laughs> no. Not all we would get it. And all that stuff he worries about. <laughs> yeah, we would get penalized as far as the payroll. Um, yeah. He would get a 1099. It would be over a $600 threshold. Um, but yeah, and it's, it's a small town and trying to find people that have workers um, liability is it, it's hard to find. Yeah, right. he's really good. He did my whole house for like oh, twenty two hundred dollars. Uh -huh. My house is a lot more complicated than the town hall. Yeah. Well, let's let's have him take a look at it, and give us an estimate, and then we'll put. Okay. Does that sound okay with? Does that sound okay with you, Paul and Brian? I yep. That's for me too. Okay. So I'll just leave a question mark for that expense. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I tend to agree with Diana. If we know we're going to spend money on something, we should budget for it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So the school generator, this is where the contract goes underneath. Um, right. The fuel was the last one. This okay. is um, so keeping it at 1300. Okay. Although the contract we just approved um, was for 900 and some dollars. But so is there another cost, an additional cost? Because we've had it at 1300 and it's, yeah, 900. No, I think, it, I think we ahead. did that just in case there was expenses or parts we needed. OK, that sounds good. Um, yeah. So the skating rink, this is just for the wood that's on here now. We haven't got the, the invoice for the actual plastic liner. Okay. Now, we had um, talked. We had talked uh, when we when we met with Elizabeth about um, you know having a you know like a three or five hundred dollar budget yearly for the the skating rink. Um, would this be the appropriate okay. place to put that in? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep. So I would put it for five hundred then. Okay. Um, moving to the next page. Hang on. Let me get it up on the screen. Whoops, a little bit too much. So these are the 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 um the appropriations. So we're on to the you know the library, the cemetery, the Sylvia Jackson, and the. Yeah. So, um, none of those have been submitted yet, Diana. Have they? No, they haven't. But I, I have another okay. question back on the subject of appropriations. If I can quickly go back there, yeah, you know, Woodbury Callus Food Shelf is requesting a little more than they did last year, the like thirteen hundred instead of one thousand. And I didn't ask, you, but but they we haven't treated them as we treat the other out of town nonprofits. So right. Well, I I can tell you from experience that any food shelf is is um, sending out a lot more food than they have right. in the past. So I would well, definitely. Um, we don't we don't hold them to the same um, standards as far as petitions and stuff like that. No, the food shelf's there, and we should let the voters make that choice. Yeah. Okay. Right. My view. Yeah. A little. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the, that's voting on the appropriation. But should we put in the amount that they're asking for? And this would be one where they would. You know, obviously, if we have this all bunched together, um, yeah, I don't, I don't feel that it's going to be argumentative. Um, right. They still send a request. When it's bunched together, it's not going to be like a total. It's still, they're still all going to be listed. It's just that people won't get a chance to vote on one or not. You know, right. on all individually, so we don't have to count them all individually. Right. They'll okay. still be so, listed individually. So we would list what they've requested for this, the next fiscal year? Right. Okay. Same with all of these. Yeah. So that whole, yeah. So the, the general fund is done as much as we can do. Okay. Until we get those in. All right. Well, nothing has been done on the um, 
town highway budget. So we'll save that for another budget meeting. And I was going to make another comment. I, I know I, I said this last year, but I didn't see it didn't get moved. I don't know what people's feelings are. I think the fire department stuff should get moved into the emergency services part of our budget, even though they're undervoted articles. Okay. Because we're not going to consolidate our articles, I'm sure. And it seems to me more appropriately to be labeled there. Right. But then would that mean that they don't people don't get to vote on it separately? No, no. We're still voting on it. I just to me it fits better in that budget category. Right. I agree. Because we move the ambulance out of out of the voted articles into that area. I mean, that would be my intent. Like the voters have made it clear they want to vote on our stuff. It's just we're we're gonna keep account of it. This is my thought. Okay. Yeah, so I, the I thing is if I if I move it, we're gonna lose the history. Okay. It, 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 it's retained three years until it's gone off this budget printout. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it can be done. So Brandy, if you move, well, we don't have to decide that tonight anyway. But okay. just all right, okay, okay. Stop, girl. Um. All right. So I will. Um. I will send. I will send the highway budget to Chuck, and if need be, then I can have Greg come to the office, use one of our laptops to do, and we'll sit down and do the highway. And then run it through through the select board at the next meeting. Yeah. Okay. Um, I you know I when we were talking with Chuck, um, we also talked about um, so Greg will come down and use one of the laptops at the town office for the Zoom yeah, meeting. Yeah, that's fine. With Chuck. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that way, I'm there and I can have all the numbers. Um, okay. Written up and put it into the system. Um, the okay. other thing is, is once the school discussion is done, I want to set up all the expenses in um, um, into the school account. Okay. Um, regarding the income on the lease, and then all the expenses that are 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 going to be estimated budgeted for. Um, okay. So it's very clear to the voters mm -hmm. um, our intentions. Okay. But yeah. So Good. Brandy. Yeah. The highway revenue. Yep. We straightened out about the Swenson reimbursement choking it all under revenue, but still got 35% there. That should not be there. In the title. I do that where, because. Where, where because are you looking, it, Diana? What, what are you? What page are you looking at? Page eight. Page eight. So. So. Is, so one. Once you've done the transfer out of the highway, that's all that's left is the 35%. Yes, it's showing the, the full, but to be to be transparent that only 35% of that money is staying in the highway. Right. But don't you show it going out somewhere else, like under the No, it's, it is under the highway that it does go out. Um, but yeah, 35% stays is the only amount that stays in the highway. That's why I kept it there. So if people are ever questioning You're how much it. actually stays in, it, it's so only 35% after it's walked out. Total last year was shown at $35,000 was budgeted. That's the total, total, right? It is the total, but and then you flip over to the expenses of the highway and it's washed out. Right, and then you get your 35%. Right, through your transfer, yeah. Right. Whatever. But for revenue, the right. only, it, it's just 35%, but yes, that is the grand total. And then you, you take away the expenses. So it, it, it's more clear to people that it says full, but the highway doesn't keep the full. Sure they do. So, could it just say Swenson reimbursement? It can, if that's what you want it to say. Well, I, I mean, it, the, the figure that's there is the total reimbursement that they give to the town and then it gets dispersed to a couple of um, reserve funds and then a certain percentage of it state, the paving fund and the 
highway equipment fund. And then there is a certain percentage that goes directly into the highway budget for the road salt. So may, you know, if that, I think the 35% is a little confusing. Like, you know, I'm thinking, well, is this 35%, the 35,000, is that 35% of what they uh, have given to the town? Um, so maybe if I it just said Swenson reimbursement, it would be, does that make sense? Yeah, I can take it out. Okay, yeah, just the, just the 35%. Yep. Okay. Anything else on the our start on the budget here for tonight? So we should probably, um, let me get rid of the screen. Is that okay with everybody? Yep. Sure. Okay. My eyes are crossing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So do we wanna to try to set up another time to tackle, um, I don't know, how, I, I mean, I would assume that um, we could get the highway budget kind of worked out within a week or so. Um, yeah, so maybe this, next week sometime, not Christmas Eve, hopefully. Right, yeah, what, that's uh, right, next, is next week the, oh my God. Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta work around the holiday here too. Um, <clears throat> Any any thoughts? I mean, uh, probably would be pushing it to try to do anything later this week, wouldn't it? Yeah, I my guess would maybe to try to do it next Monday, maybe. I know I have a planning commission meeting, oh. but I could I could miss it. Although I could do Monday of... or Wednesday next week. All right. Evening. I'm yeah. good with either one. Okay, maybe. Um, well, let's say tentatively. Um, Wednesday evening. What I think, Brandy, would that work for you? Yep. Okay. Um, I can't think of anything that's happening. No activities anywhere, so we'll right. be sitting here staring at our right. Christmas tree. Yeah. So, okay. So let's let's um, say tentatively Wednesday evening, about six o'clock. Sure. Six okay. So what I'll do is I'll set up a Zoom meeting using the town's account. Um, yep. We'll, we'll have to warn it, of course. That's the Hopefully they'll right? have it resolved by then. Yeah, yeah. The budget. Yeah. All it's right. 23rd, right, Mike? Yeah, yeah 23rd. 3rd. 6 p.m. So um, yeah. okay. let, me, let me make a note for myself here. I'll even look at my calendar before I lie and say I can make it. <laughs> yeah, I will too. I'll just make sure. It looks sure okay that... right at the moment. Okay. And I can come up with some numbers on the the wages yep. part for the town, the simple part, not the highway part. Okay. And I think technically, um, when we do a Zoom meeting, you know, obviously when uh, Hardwick HCTV um, hosts the meetings, it is recorded. Um, you can record it as the host. Yeah, I think that that's what we'll probably have to do is record it as the host, and then yep. if anybody, you know, for the open meeting rules It'll be spell binding watching us go through these numbers so everyone should come right yeah <laughs> yeah okay good so um i guess at this point um we're ready to go into executive session um so and um i think i'm already a co-host i think on leafs I think I'll i can you a host michael okay all right thank you Leaf. as soon as you finish up this meeting i'll I'll make you a host. Okay. So um, let me just state the motion um, so that, and then um, somebody um, who's so inclined could just say so move. So um, um, the motion for going into executive session, we would be citing one VSA 313A2 um, on negotiating lease options. And I would like to invite uh, Norman Etkin and Patrick flood to the meeting also and brandy if you'd like you're welcome to sit in because we are going to be talking about money but you don't have to if you yep. don't want to no nope, that's all right i'll be here okay so moved, so moved. all right do okay. i hear a second all yep, right second. All, those, all those in favor say aye aye okay 